ordentlich nervös. Also ich bin ein bisschen, aber wie schaut's gut aus? With just under a month to go before FIFA 20 comes out, you think to yourself, we probably have seen everything there is to see in FIFA 19. We managed to pack Team of the Year Messi. We managed to be able to get ourselves a 95 Team of the Season King Kai Havertz on the road to glory. We packed ourselves a 99 Foot Champs Red version of Messi, as well as a 96 rated Aubameyang on the road to glory account, as well as a bunch of other things. Came very close to winning the first Fatal of FIFA 19, which would lead you to believe that there's not much else to be seen, or that there's not much else that can surprise you in FIFA 19. And then this card comes along. What's happening, boys? And welcome to the craziest upgrade card that we have seen in FIFA 19. And it comes in the form of not Dusan Tadic, which we alluded to earlier, but it comes in the form of Dario Tadic, a guy whose Wikipedia is only two lines long. He is by far and away the shortest Wikipedia entry I've ever seen. Um, he's got himself 58 goals. How does this guy have only two lines on his Wikipedia page, yet he's an absolute goal-scoring machine. 58 goals and 77 appearances for TSV Hartberg in the Austrian Bundesliga. He's 29 years old. He was born in the uh, former uh, Yugoslavia Republic in the small town of Odzak, which also has an equally small uh, Wikipedia page. But that is not why we're here today. We are here today to look at one of the craziest upgrades. He shipped as a 65-rated silver card in FIFA 19, uh, went to a 75-rated hero card, which is what he got, obviously, for one of his uh, for a hero performance, and then an 81 rated inform so plus six off that 75 turns into a player that has more total in game stats than prime icon moments people in zagi let me repeat that there are like four or five prime moment icon icons who don't have as many total in game stats as this dario tadic card look at this thing four star weak foot so he's got that 89 pace 90 shooting 75 passing 85 dribbling 41 defending 83 physical with a decent bit of height in the form of uh, 510 and goes for 14,000 coins i know not a whole lot of people are concerned with price right now given that we do have like i said and i say it in every video just about a month ago before fifa 20 releases not even that with early access but Goes up to 99 finishing with the Marksman Chem style. Goes up to a 91 rated striker with the Marksman Chem style. 93 jumping, that goes up to 99 with the Marksman. And then he's also got 99 agility with uh, some really nice dribbling stats. Passing stats are kind of meh, but that's not why you get this card. You get this card because he's an absolute mad lad. Goes up to 90 strength, 84 stamina, so that's fine. Uh, and then, like I said, 99 finishing with 99 shot power and 95 long shots. The only downside to this card is the attack and positioning, but even that goes up to 81 with the Marksman. And then 75 five composure is going to be that thing uh, that maybe sets him apart as a card that like is not as great as the 81 would, would indicate but we are going to take this card into a couple games here and see if it is one of the most vans and one of the wildest upgrade cards and one of the, uh, the one of the most wild 81 rated informs and i think maybe that's the question of the epi if you go to the foothead entry uh if you go to the foothead site we've got abdullah Torre, we've got robinho's 81 from fifa 12 we've got michael richards card from i think fifa 11 and then Aryan robbins card from i think fifa 10 or fifa 11 was an 81 rated left mid had some really really ridic ridiculous stats uh and then there's a couple more kevin morales card from i believe fifa 13 or 14 was another one the 82 was a really really car uh, really really good 82 rated card and then how can we forget Yasin Chikawi's card from I believe it was either FIFA 15 or FIFA 16 that was a mad lad card as well but if you guys are enjoying these little off videos where we're doing something a little bit special towards the end of FIFA 19 drop a cheeky like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below now when you do a Tadinho episode you got to surround him with some other Austrians we've got Marco Arnatovic we didn't do the SBC for his foot birthday card we've got uh Marcel Moritz Sabitzer who is also a fellow Austrian four star weak foot and then of course, argue, arguably the best Austrian player in the game in the form of that 93 footies Alaba. And then Juno Zofic's card for a 78 rated gold card, 86 agility, some pretty decent, you know, some nice passing stats, decent shooting stats, but uh, just a very solid overall 78 rated card. We're going to have him there uh, and then we're going to give him a little bit of respect. But I think, you know what? Given that we love this card so much, um, there is obviously, where is he? Paul Pogba. I just, I, I, I said it when we did his card, but I want to try and use this card as many times as possible uh, before the end of the game. And this 95 Paul Pogba legitimately is uh, is a game-changing card. So we're going to use him as our Ram. Let's get into a couple matches with Tadinho, aka Dario Tadic. The best... <laughs> The best player with the acronym D Tadic in FIFA, way better than Dusan Tadic. Let's get the match number one in division number two in uh, in uh, division rivals. Los Gets. Oh, 
the composure is not an issue. Can confirm the composure is not an issue, boys. Hug it out with your Österreichische Bundesliga teammates. And Dario Tadic gets on the board in the first 20 minutes of the match and shows no lack of composure there. He might only have 75 composure, but that, I suppose, the 99 finishing balances it out. And he's surrounded by a player, too. He's got, he had a player hot on his ass. Hot on his ass. Have I said that at any point in FIFA 19? fun he enjoys he enjoys he enjoys pastries he enjoys uh bitterballen and he enjoys uh frittender or i'm not sure there's that wait no that's dutch fritkanden fritkandelen apparently whatever wesley snyder's eating tadich is on the same diet as well two goals in the first 25 minutes and a couple absolute bangers to be fair as well that 99 shot power the 99 finishing and the 99 shot power is just too much for any well whatever this keeper is way too much for this keeper to maintain All right. <laughs> um, might have been useful to take Pepe Reina out of the net. I don't know why he's in there. Have an absolutely stud all-star cast, and then we've got just a cheeky Pepe Reina hanging out. Wait for it. He's gone. Dario Tadic with the four attempts and the two goals, the 50% conversion rate on his uh, on his bangers. And we've got the lead here, 2-1 versus Dabin Syndrome. Okay. Wait, um... hey, what? <laughs> what was that? How did he even get through those two guys? Four goals with the mad lad Dario Tadic. This is a card that we're going to have to mortalize. Match number one. And he rises to the occasion. He he blew my expectations out of the water. Uh, no joke of a lie. Six total attempts, four goals. And he just absolutely shatters expectations. Dario Tadic. Can he do it in back-to-back -back matches? A perfect, almost perfect 9.6 rating. Four goals. Dribbles completed. 22 out of 33. Deadly there. And then also passes completed 25 out of 29, 5 out of 6 sh uh, shots on target. This guy was incredible. Dario Tadic's first match is a resounding victory. Let's get to match number 2. Let's see if this guy can keep it going. Look at Arnautovic. If there's a card that I was most disappointed with, I think it's probably the Carnivaler or Foot Birthday, whatever card they are. Um... Marco Arnautovic. There was just something about his card that felt clunky. There, there, it was weird. Like he's got this. He's got stats that you would expect to be just absolutely unreal. But for whatever reason, uh, he wasn't able to get it done for me. Uh, speaking of Timo Werner, he has signed uh, a new deal that's going to keep him with Leipzig for, I believe, another season, and then a thirty million release clause, which for a team like Bayern is nothing. So that could still happen. But at least they get him for uh, another season. That was on VVD as well. He cuts through VVD like an Austrian butter knife through some hot Austrian butter. What did I just see? He heel flicks through VVD and then puts one through De Gea. Arguably one of the best center backs in the game and then arguably one of the best keepers in the game. Dario Tadic makes it look easy. He's up to four goals in two matches played. What an absolute mad lad. Bro, come on. Was that King Kai? Did he really just... Oh, man. Did he really just do that to me? Nah, this card is, this card is just two jokes. 
This card does not play like an 81 rated card. Marko Arnautovic! The one time we needed him to step up, he does. Dusan Ta uh, I was about to say Dusan Tadic, and he gets... Why rage quit? Your team is ten. Your team is ten times better than mine, and he goes ahead and he, he freaking rage quits in the sixty fifth minute. Username Knausenheimer on Futhead says this guy has basically gotten a team of the season upgrade from just two informs from his base card to this, from his base card to this eighty one rated, plus fourteen place, uh, plus fourteen pace, plus twenty four shooting, plus twenty passing, plus twenty one dribbling, plus thirteen uh, defending, and plus twelve physical. What is life? I'm sorry, but um, I, I don't understand. I don't understand this card. <laughs> Marko Arnatovic, Allison. Uh, Arnatovic is so underwhelming that he can't even put it past. Um, he can't even put it past Allison. All right, what do we got here? There we go, finally. Marko Arnatovic does what he does best. He's an aerial threat, an absolute Austrian mad lad powerhouse. Um, and he goes ahead and he puts us up 2-0. Bro, this, uh, the Austrian boys, they don't have a whole lot of high-rated cards in the game. But they can, uh, they know how, to, they know a thing or two about scoring goals. Red card. On me? needs me to be down to nine men in order to have a chance. Oh, God! I wanted to do the three. I wanted to do the sweep. I was even going to be happy with a with a draw in the third match. This doesn't take away from anything. This doesn't take it. This doesn't take anything away from Dario Tadic. We get ourselves two red cards, bro. I can't remember the last time that happened with David Alaba and Dalbert. Five goals scored with Dario Tadic, the man that has more total in-game stats than Prime Icon moments, people and Zagi, as well as a few of the other icons. But that is going to do it, boys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this a little bit different of a highlighting player that in a million years we wouldn't usually look at. But because he's 81 rated and because he's got ridiculous total in-game stats, uh, he just might be the best upgrade or maybe the best rated 81 in form that we have ever seen uh maybe in any fifa ever so you guys let me know in the comments if you either agree or disagree with that and maybe give me some examples of some players in previous fifas that had a low rated card that just played absolutely out of their mind but that is gonna do it boys and like i always say if you have enjoyed drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below the squad duel versus andy will be out either tomorrow or tuesday and then also i have a fun video uh, where me and Matt HD Gamer, aka Today is a Special Day, played versus Jaden Sancho. Uh, and then also another video where I play against uh, uh, Mitch Visser uh, for the Bayer Leverkusen squad. So a couple of fun videos coming out over the course of the next few days. And uh, like I always say, boys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. I will I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.